Check it out with the table. Oh, that's okay. Well, that feels so bad. Give me smarter. Okay. Here is the deal. This is just the way to remember. Uh, trigonometry is, well, this part of trigonometry is only about ratios or fractions and making fractions. And the way that people teach it and people know it is this. So ka toa. Say that with me. So ka toa. That's just the way you're going to remember the relationships here. Because what so means is this. The trig, this is the trig function sine, S-I-N-E, equals the opposite. Remember the other day when we talked about opposites and hypotenuses and adjacents? That's what, this, that's what the, that was leading up to. The ratio for sine is this, the opposite side over the hypotenuse side. This C is cosine. Cosine is the fraction adjacent over hypotenuse. And T, anybody know what the T is? Anybody know? Is if you look on your table. Tangent. Oh, there you go. The relationship for the tangent, I don't know where these words even came from, but that's what they are, is the opposite side over the adjacent side. So you've got co sine, cosine, and tangent. When you get into real trigonometry, there's like the opposites of them, which are um, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. But you don't need to know these three are the ones. What this really means is this. Take a look at this. Okay, this says the tangent of x. Okay, first of all, if it talks about tangent, you know that you're looking for this. Tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. So you can, uh, if you want to write that down, opposite over adjacent. The second most important thing is here, you have to know what angle you're talking about. Just like when we talk about opposites and adjacent, it changes based on what angle you're looking at. And they'll never look at the right angle. It's either going to be angle x or angle z. In this, this case, you're talking of angle x. So what side is the opposite of angle x? What is it? It's this side here. What is the number? 16. Okay. What side is adjacent to x? Remember, this is the hypotenuse side, so it's not that side. So it has to be this side, which is 30. So the tangent of x is going to equal 16 over 30. If we reduce that, what do we get? 8 over 15? Yes. And, and you won't have to do a lot of this, but we'll do it right here for this one. If you divide 15 into 8 and get the decimal equivalent to that, uh, 15 goes into 8. What is that? Oh, it's 0. 0.6, right? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's not 0. 0.6. 0. 0.6 would be 9, right? 0.5, 5 is 75, you get 50, what's that, 3? 0.5, 45. 0. 0.53, Peter, is that not right? You get that? Somebody say yes. Yes. Sure. yes. Are we doing that? 0. 0.5, is that, is that, am I right on that? Let me go. Yeah, that's probably right. Which means this, children, because you know this value, you then can look at your little reference sheet Find the column for tangent. Look down on that until you find whatever's closest to the decimal 0.5 repeater 3. Can you see that there? I don't have my tangent sheet here. Huh? 32. Are you agreeing it's 32? No, no, I'm not. Hey, um, I'm looking at the sign. 28. I saw 20. 30. You're going to force me. Here we go. Let me pull this up here. Where's the table? It's 28. Trig table. <laughs> We're looking for 0.53 repeater, so we go here. Here's tangent. You look down here, right here, 0.53. It's 28. So that means angle X here is about 28 degrees. Because of this relationship, that ratio. And they use it. You, uh, people in the construction world, in the real world, in the science and whatever real, uh, you will use this all the time just because of whatever it is. You won't have to do a lot of these. But look at number two. It is the sine of angle C. So 
And, and hopefully, the reason you do the so katoa is so that you don't always have to look at sine is so, S O H, so sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. You're talking about angle C. So if you're looking at angle C, the opposite side is 15. Hypotenuse doesn't change, it has to be 39. Okay. And if you divide that or reduce that, you get 5 over 13. You know, you could make an argument, wouldn't this be a good time to use calculators? And it probably is, but it's not that hard enough. 13 goes into 5, how many times? What? Point 3, which is 39. You get, what? 111, 110. 8 is what? 104. And then you get point something. So then you go to your little trig table, which I think I still have up here. It's 21. And I find sine. No, what did I say? It was 0.8 what? What did I say? 0.8 what? 4? 0.38. Oh, 0.3 something. 8. 0.38. So you get, the, you get your pick. It's probably closer to 22 degrees than anything else. So angle C is approximately 22 degrees. Who's got this? And that is trigonometry. Wait, we got something else on that. I gotta find that page again. What do we what do we got on the rest of this little page here? Find the measure. Oh well that's what we just did on that thing. You wanna take a shot at doing this one or do you want me to oh no I'll do it. Sorry, I couldn't even talk to myself about this. <clears throat> so you have this, those two problems there. You get your choice. So you have to kind of do a little figuring out here. We are looking for this angle here, right? That's the question mark. So what info is given? What two sides are given to you? You are given the, well, you know the hypotenuse side. And you know the side that's opposite. So you want to find the trig function that uses opposite and hypotenuse. So if you got so katoa, which one which one of those has opposite and hypotenuse? In? Sine, right? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So you make that ratio. Side opposite is 49. Hypotenuse is 53. Oh, we really desperately need a calculator here. I'm gonna do it for you. I don't know if you'll need if you'll need a calculator tomorrow or whatever, I'll get you one. But Let's look and see what the calculator says. Calculator says 49 divided by 53. That equals what is it? Was it 0. 0. 0.924. 0.924. You then look at your reference sheet under sign 0. 0.924. Oh, 67 or 68. Which one's it closer to? Either one would probably be okay. 67 or 68 degrees. Check the one there. Oh, is number four? Four is exactly the same, isn't it? You would side opposite over side on over hypotenuse again. Four, you would si use sine again. Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. I'm going to let you. You see if you can tell me how, well, how many degrees that angle is right there based on the info you've got there. Am I going to have to let you use more fingers? Let me look at this. Find the value of the ratio. Find the measure of the indicated angle for the nearest degree. I guess I'll have to. Do we get an answer?
34 over 46? Yay. Mm -hmm. Which is 17 over 23. Oh, sorry, guys. Do we have to actually do that? It's like 0.65. Yeah, it's more like 0.73. Did I do my math? It's 0.73. It's like, yeah. Yeah, uh, what? It's 721 yeah. to 1416. Yeah. Yeah. I got 48. And then 90 is. It's going to go on a lot. Four is ninety-two. Oh, it's pretty close to point seven four. So point seven three nine. Yeah. Forty-seven or forty-eight. Forty-seven times seven. Forty-seven or forty-eight. You just kind of pick the one that's closest. You could probably put it in whatever thing, and it would probably get you there. So. This won't take you long. Here is. One worksheet you will probably want to grab on the calculator. Grab your number, right? I'm pretty confident in the ability, although I'm you got that last one. Can I get my number out? Oh, my Did I run out? Uh, or I can take you my number six. Wait,